All right, so this video is going to quickly show you everything you need to know about the Dung Eater quest line. Uh, it's going to unlock you this Omen armor set as well as this Blade of Milos, which is a dexterity based greatsword. Um, I'm assuming that you have already unlocked the Sewer Gal key from the Dung Eater in Roundtable Hold. If you have yet to, uh, just advance in the story enough to find. Um, Dung Eater at the round table hold in the back corner, and he will provide you with a sewer gal key. So once you get the sewer gal key, this is where we're going to take it. If you have the underground roadside bonfire, that's where you're going to start. So you can skip ahead a little bit in the video. I'm going to show everybody how to move from the avenue balcony bonfire to the underground roadside bonfire. So we're going to move down this way, jump over the left onto the roofs. This is the same beginning of the path that I took to find that somber smithing stone 7 in my other video. So take a look at that. Um, if you haven't yet, we're going to hop down here into this well. We're going to move left and open this door and jump down this ladder. Head into this room. Let's pop a lantern on because it's about to get a little dark. Alright, we're going to move this direction. And we're just going to navigate beyond all of these rats. Um, we're going to move to the left and jump down the ladder. And then what we're looking for is a grate on the ground. Oh, wait. Let me show you. the. This is where the underground roadside bonfire is if you haven't grabbed it already. So grab that. And we're going to move this direction from the underground roadside bonfire. We've got the grate on the left-hand side here we're going to jump into. Here we go. So, move through there. We're going to go right. Um, this direction, you can find some other secrets. So, head that direction when you get the chance. But for now, we're going to head beyond these flowers and up this ladder. Uh, at the top of this ladder, we're going to be in a room... Uh, which will have the door where we will unlock the sewer gal. But the problem with that is there's a giant hand in the middle that will spawn if you step on it. So we're going to stay all the way right when we do this so we don't uh, trigger the hand. We're going to move in here, and the dung eater will not be positioned there. He will be here against the wall, and you'll have a full uh, conversation with him. If you kill him at this point, you will receive both the arm omen armor set as well as his greatsword. But there is more dialogue if you'd like to go through the whole quest. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to teleport all the way back to Roundtable Hold. When you get there and you move to where he was initially in Roundtable Hold, he's going to tell you to meet him at the outer moat. There's going to be a note left for you. Meet me at the outer moat. So to get to the outer moat, what we're going to do is move to this outer wall battleground uh, bonfire. So I'm going to teleport there now and I'll meet you guys over there. All right, here we are at the Outer Wall Battleground Bonfire. Where we're looking to go is up this uh, road, down here, and into this moat area. Right where this ping is is where we're going to find the Dung Eater. Um, and we're going to have a big epic fight with him there. Um, it is not that difficult of a fight, but there is a giant crab that spawns when you walk over uh, the area. So he will have a giant crab uh, helping him. The crab actually does damage to him, though, when it attacks, so you can use it against him um, if you like. So we're just going to move through here, up along this road, and down past here. Um, if you use the map and you found it easily, you can just skip past this part. We're just going to show you exactly how to get down there. Down here, we're going to see where our marker is. We're going to see a large area. And that is where you're going to fight the Dung Eater. So when you do, you will only receive the Great Sword. You're going to fight him down there. You'll only get this sword. You will not have this armor set. That made me nervous and made me think I couldn't get the armor set because I skipped killing him in the cell. But that is not the case. What we're going to do after is we're going to move back to Roundtable Hold. We're going to have one more conversation with him here at Roundtable Hold. A final conversation. After we do so... Something's chasing me. After we do so, we're going to teleport right back to the underground roadside bonfire. And we are going to meet him at the same place that he was. So we've already gone to round table hold. That part's done. Now we're going back to the underground roadside to meet him back in the cell. 
uh, when we get to the cell, you can skip the rest of this video if you remember how to get there. When you get to the cell, um, he's going to be sitting instead of standing, and he will have a little bit more dialogue for you to exhaust. Uh, talk to him, figure it all out, and then you'll be able to just slice him once, and that'll be the end of the quest. Slice him once, and you'll get the omen armor set that you did not uh, get from killing him in the moat. Most people beat this quest by, or get this armor set and the sword by just killing him the first time they see him in the cell. But this is um, the longer way to do things, and with a little bit more dialogue. So we're going to head up here. Uh, remember the scary hand in the middle. Don't trigger it. Stay to the right. Move in. He's going to be sitting just like this in a chair. And he will be alive. He'll have a couple things to talk uh, through. A couple of dialogue options. Then you slice him once and he dies. That provides you with the omen armor set. And you'll already have this greatsword. And that is the whole um, dung eater quest line. So if this helped you out, please subscribe to the channel because there's more videos coming every day that are like this. And tell your friends, like the video, share the video, comment if you have uh, any other things you'd like me to do. And I'd be happy to. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.